he comes into my patient's room and he thinks that that's the best time to get my number. Welcome back to my channel it is michelle here if you are new here hey welcome go ahead hit that subscribe button and join this little family here as you can see i'm excited to sit down and talk to you guys but before we get into this juicy topic this juicy topic okay i want to give a shout out to today's sponsor thank you anna luisa as you guys can see my ears are gleaming you see this earring they sent me three more pieces of their um jewelry line if you guys don't know who anna luisa is they are a sustainable jewelry company they care about the earth therefore they sought to create beautiful jewelry that did not come at a cost of the earth they make very unique gorgeous pieces that I know would fit your style. This time around, I received three earrings. It is the Paris, which I'll give a close up. It's such a gorgeous, like spiral, thick, thick gold earring. And I absolutely love it. If you guys want to spice up your look, look a little bit more expensive without paying for that price. Anna Luisa is the go-to. It's quality pieces for a reasonable price. I also received this gorgeous piece right here. This one does not have a name. So stunning and I cannot wait to wear this. And I received Ori. And this is just a stud, a gorgeous stud that I cannot wait to wear, especially to work. As you guys know, as nurses, we can't wear dangled earrings, so I'm, I'm excited to wear this one to work. So when you log on to AnnaLuisa.com, you're welcomed by their lovely page. You get to also read great reviews written by their satisfied customers. On their page, you get to see the inventory of the gorgeous jewelry pieces they carry. So Anna Luisa is currently running the biggest sale of the year, guys. They're offering 20% off the entire websites do not miss it buy this for your special someone your friend your sister your mom they will absolutely fall in love with these pieces there's an array of choices to choose from from earrings to rings to bracelets to necklaces so definitely check out Anna Luisa a direct link will be in the description box below guys so definitely check it out and thank you Anna Luisa for sponsoring today's video now let's get into this juicy topic guys yeah we're just gonna be talking about my encounter with a co-worker um just maybe crossing the boundary a little bit you guys be the judge of it you guys be the judge of it and what i realized that i need to speak up and set boundaries i'm too i can be too nice or maybe too friendly sometimes which maybe the person misconstrued it into it being more than it was we're going to talk about red flags that i noticed um so yeah i'm also going to be heading out with my girlfriend so i want to bring you guys along with me i'm gonna get ready to talk about this person and our encounter and the red flags and just how things went and then we're gonna head out with my friends so just a fun little vlog so let's get into our topic first of all if you guys have been listening to me talk for a while you guys know how i feel about dating at work we talked about this in one of my other videos but I'm going to reiterate for the sake of today's discussion. So I am not a fan of dating a coworker because I feel like I need a work-life balance. Like I just don't want to come to work and worry about you. I want to worry about my patients, you know, I just want to worry about my patients. And I just, unless it's like a business or something like that, like I don't want to work with my spouse. That's the context of where I'm coming from. I started this travel nursing job and y'all i've been telling y'all interesting stories but it just keeps getting more interesting i guess but i started this travel nursing job y'all the moment i started there was this one guy this one respiratory therapist that i knew would just stare at me y'all know when some someone just stares at you like when i first started that was him till today that's him i would just feel his eyes on me you know he would say hi i would say hi back just trying to be nice and cordial at the workplace. He eventually got up the courage to talk to me. So I was then sitting in one of my patients' room one day. This is when like he first started talking to me. He's like, yeah, what's your name? I was like, hey, it's Michelle. And then he tells me his name. And I was like, okay, cool. Mind you guys, I work in the ICU 
and a lot of the patients I take care of are not coherent like they're there but they don't really understand what's going on so this man thought it was appropriate to, to approach me whenever I'm in my patients rooms because they can't they're either intubated or sedated or mentally they're just in another land so this scenario I was sitting in my patients room because they were a fall risk and it was a neuro, you know, y'all know how it is. So I'm like, okay, let me sit in my patient's room so that I can be here in case the patient like does something crazy. So he comes over and he's like, oh yeah, what's your name? I tell him, then he was like, yeah, I've been staring at you. And I was like, I know, <laughs> I thought I knew you. You know, you reminded me of my best friend's ex-girlfriend. Okay, thought you were her, so I kept staring at you. And I was like, oh yeah, no, I promise you I don't know your, your best friend. <laughs> I don't know him. Yeah, I thought you were his ex-girlfriend. Um, you know, I just saw your body. She, you know, you guys have a similar body, very athletic. Reminded me of hers. Another red flag, why are you over here analyzing your best friend's girl ex-girlfriend's body? Okay. Yeah, and I was like, yeah, it's very athletic. Do you work out? <sighs> and then I went on my spiel about how I like to work out. And then that conversation, like, mind you, the doctors are coming to round my patient. So he was like, still there. And I was like, hey, okay, I gotta go. They're rounding on my patient. And then he finally leaves me alone. But every time I see this man, like, I can feel his eyes on me. Like, I can feel him just looking at me. And it was just so weird. I'm like, can this man stop staring at me? So, another instance, I'm in my patient's room doing my job, doing what I came there for, doing what I get paid for. He comes into my patient's room again. Mind you, like, I'm in the ICU. So, the rooms are very open. Like, it's glass doors. You can see everything. And he just put me in such an uncomfortable situation. He comes into my patient's room and he thinks that that's the best time to get my number. So he's like talking to me. He's like, oh, hey, what's your schedule like this week? And I was like, oh yeah, I'm working, um, da da da, I'll be here tomorrow. And he's like, oh yeah, I'm here tomorrow too. And then he goes on and he's like, so what do you do when you're not here? <laughs> I was like, oh, um, I like to go to church, you know, I just, I just work and I go to church. And I was like, you have to make time for me. <laughs> Mind you, I'm over here trying to mix some medications for my patient. And like I told y'all, like, because these IC patients aren't really mentally there, the patient doesn't understand what's going on, you know. So, like I said, he thought it was appropriate to do this then. So I was like, no, I just I just work and I um, I go to church. And then he was like, well, you, sh you should make time for me in your busy schedule. Um, I would like to you know, take up some of your time. And I was like, no, it's okay. Y'all know I'm an assertive person. I don't know why in that moment, like it didn't come out. But I was like, it's okay. Um, it's okay, like, no, it's okay. Like in a passive way. And then this man pulls out his phone. He pulls out his phone and it was a freaking Android. Another red flag. And he's like, oh, let me take your number down. And literally, my patients in the room were like by the door. And I, I don't know if there were people watching, but he just did it in such a slick way. His body was like facing like wh where people are. So I don't know if they saw what he was trying to do. And I was like, man, am I about to realize and embarrass this man? Like I'm about to really embarrass him. He was like, no, yeah, let me take your number down. I was like, no, it's okay. But then he was so persistent and I was like, fine. So I give him my number and he calls me right then and there just to make sure that I gave him the right number and it rings and he leaves. But yeah, so he takes my number and now he's put me in such an awkward situation. That same day after he called me, he was like, hey, I'll put the text messages up here. This is da da da. You spelled my name with two L's, which is another red flag, okay? You do not pay attention to detail. My name has one L in it, okay? My name, Michelle, has one L in it and I like it like that. But yeah, another red flag there. And I'm just in this awkward position in where I don't know wh where we go from here. Like, I don't want to be bothered when I come to work and all this man does is harass me with his eyes. 
literally i can feel him watching me and thank god thank the holy spirit my discernment my level of discernment is just so sharp so sharp by the grace of god i just i just know i just know that like this is not it like this is not it so i'm not gonna entertain anything that is not it first of all the fact that you mentioned my body how about your brains how about michelle i noticed you're a very smart nurse <laughs> like come on you don't do that okay so i haven't responded to sex messages guys because i'm not trying to entertain anything and i'm like why the heck didn't i just say no and this is when i realized that maybe i need stronger boundaries like moving forward i'm gonna be more assertive i thought i was assertive but i'm gonna i'm not gonna try to be nice anymore i'm gonna be like hey i don't like this stop or i'm not interested point blank period now he's put me in an awkward situation and where i have to go to work and try not to see this person like come on man i'm over here trying to take out my patience and you're like right in my face trying to take my number so inappropriate i'm going to quickly do my face guys and i'm going to come back and chit chat some more all right now time for my hair but y'all how should i go about this should i keep ignoring this person because like you literally have put me in such an awkward situation now i'm back to go to work have to worry about my patience not worry about you and your feelings like please help me how do i continue to ignore this person and just when i see them just just move on it's gonna be hard because like he's a respiratory therapist so in the icu like they're a part of the interdisciplinary team where you collaborate and talk that's my predicament and that's my dilemma how please let me know in the comments how i should go about this because i feel like personally i don't mind just ignoring them like i really don't mind unless it has to do with our patients then i'm not really gonna talk to him because obviously being nice suggested that i was interested i don't know oh boy 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 but i am done i'm about to show you guys what i'm wearing so i guess this was a three in one get ready with me um face is super cute the hair is done my first wig i will link it in the box below guys if you guys are interested and now i'm about to go put on my clothes and do an otd and then we will head out this is what your girl looks like right now let us see what we want to wear i think i want to do this brown top with black leather we'll see if it comes out cute all right so this is what i end up wearing this bodysuit a brown bodysuit with my leather pants i like it i love it it looks great um what purse are we doing though no, i think i'm just gonna do a black purse and call it a day but this is the fit guys per usual my clear heels that i always wear okay let's head over to this dinner gotta switch out of my heels into my driving shoes oh my goodness i forgot my house my um i'll be right back guys all right let's head over but i hope what i was saying made sense guys like a, a, just a literally a no would have been it but i just first of all for some reason i didn't want to embarrass him I figured I'll just give it to you and then just not reply and respond to you because literally he pulled out his phone while I'm like in my patient's room and it was just would have been mad awkward <laughs> mad awkward if I told him no I just had to do it just to get it over with and now he's getting ignored and yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I said and see your messages. If he asks when I go to work, when I go back to work, I'm just gonna be like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna say. But it is what it is, man. Don't put me in such an awkward situation. I guess at this point, I ta ta ta. ta. <laughs> yeah, that's my predicament. I guess I'm, maybe I shouldn't be as nice to people anymore. Maybe this is what that is. I can't I literally I did nothing that was suggestive like nothing I just come to work and I take care of my people that's what I do <sighs> but I'll catch you guys when I get to the restaurant
guys look at how stunning outside looks i feel like i've been working 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 and not really enjoying my life this is absolutely gorgeous looking for my friends and we're going to have fun i'm excited to meet them these are my high school friends so we've been friends for over 10 years and we're like still close we're still keeping in touch with one another yeah it's great to have friends like that but i'm about to go meet up with them guys i'll see y'all a little later enjoyed this day in my life and my little dilemma that I had going on. I'm going to keep y'all posted on how awkward things get at work. Oh, Hi guys! <laughs> so cute! From Michelle's channel, I'm the friend that watches all the nursing videos and I don't know nothing about nursing. She, she's a whole military... What is it called? Military bay? Military... Oh, 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 you know. oh, oh. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> but yes guys, we had so much fun. Look at them. Did we really come out here if we didn't take pictures? They're just taking pictures. This is so much fun. Don't forget to check out annaluisa.com, guys, to participate in the 20% off sale they are currently having. The holidays are coming up, so definitely use this sale to your advantage. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up for me. Subscribe to my channel if you've not already. And of course, comment and join in this dilemma that I'm, go I'm going through. Let's chat. I'll talk to you guys in the next video.